I'm going to show you in this video how to change an image, such as this one here, into an image which is actually in a shape like a circle or a triangle. And whilst I have your attention, please like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'll keep creating lots of videos, so um, do subscribe, it is worth it. It's free as well. Right, let's show you how to do it. So I've got this image, click on the image, and something to bear in mind is this image here is a rectangle. You need the image to be, you know, uh, to be a square, essentially, so you need to crop it. So click on the image, make sure you're in picture format, and then go to crop. But don't click on crop itself. Well, you can, but what you really need to do is click on the little crop bit below with the, uh, with the arrow. You can either crop it, so it's gonna be a square shape, or you can do aspect ratio, which is what we want to do. So you want it one by one, which is that. Now, this is perfect because this image happens to be in there, but there might be occasions in which you don't want the image exactly as it was. So if not, you just move it around. So do one by one. The reason you do one by one, well, I'll show you why later. But we've got it as a square. Click on it again, picture format, just below the crop, so click on the little arrow below crop, and then crop to shape. Pick your shape, let's go for a circle, and there you have it. But if you didn't want a circle, and you wanted to do triangle, there we go. You can see here why you might have wanted to have uh, you know, moved the location of it, so the face was right in the middle. Want to change it again, crop to shape, pick whatever you want. There we go, I don't even know what that is, a teardrop. Anyway, that's how you do it. But if we were to go back a few steps and um, we left it how it was, oops, one more step, there we go. So it's this big rectangle and we just went to a bit below crop, crop to shape and if I pick circle now, you'll see it comes out as a sphere, which is not what we wanted. And if you try to reduce it so it looked like a circle, you just end up with a squashed man, which is not very good at all. So that's why you need to follow my instructions on how to do it. Now, if you're wondering how do I get the picture in there, well, it's just any picture really. So I've got some pictures here. Um, there you go, a very handsome individual, that's me. Um, once again though, I'm just gonna do crop and um, you know, I'll do it a different way. I'm gonna crop it this way, kind of old school cropping. There you go, looks like a square. Just to make you aware, it doesn't have to be pixel perfect. You know, users are not gonna realize. But what I did there, click to the image, picture format, crop down the bottom, crop to shape, circle, there we go. I should have just done that one by one ratio, shouldn't I? It would have looked a lot better. There we go. I'll do it from that stage. Aspect ratio, one by one. Crop, crop to shape. Let's do me the triangle. There you go, amazing. You know how to do it now. Remember, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Happy cropping images into shapes um, in PowerPoint. Thank you very much.